Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see the um, lab session for module eight, that is continuation from the previous video. So in this video, we'll see uh, how to process an array using the for each loop. So in this, uh, you know, uh, exercise, uh, we will be creating a test group and then we'll, uh, you know, create a script to configure the IP phone attribute. So I have, uh, you know, opened the uh, PowerShell in the administrator mode and uh, I'm going to create a group name called IP phone test. So for that, let's use the following command. So to create a new AG group, new dash AD group and specify the name for the group which is IP phone test and specify the uh, group scope which is universal and specify the group category as security. Okay, so we have created the group name called IP phone test and the next we'll move the this group into the ITOU. So for that, let's run the following command. Move dash AD object and the CN canonical name let me just uh, copy the command Okay, so we are mentioning the target path, which is ITOU. Okay, next uh, we will add users to this group by using the following command. Add dash AD group member. So let me copy this command. Okay, so we are adding this for user. In the next, uh, we'll create a script name called ipphone.ps1 so i'm going to create that script in the following location where i have the other script so name that ipphone and change the extension into ps1 okay and uh, open this in the partial isc so we can right click and click edit so that it will be opened in the partial isc just close this And I'm going to use the these commands. So in the uh, users variable, I'm getting the group member who are in the IP phone test. And uh, next, uh, using the for each. 
so it processing integer uses using the array and here uh, we are setting up a full user as the variable to get the uh, you know user from this variable and uh, then the other variable ip phone you know where we are supplying the previous uh, variable here and uh, you know we are adding the addatom.com at the end and uh, finally it will you know apply the set ad user replace ip phone equal ip phone that variable that we have created previously okay so to execute the complete command we can run this uh, play button or f5 if you wanted to uh, selectively uh, you know run the command we can press the f8 or this selection so i'm going to run this command okay it is completed okay so if you want to verify we can just open the ad users and computers and uh, in the itou there is a group name called ip phone test and these were the members inside this group and check the telephone and for the ip phone we have updated this attribute okay so we have successfully created the uh, test group and uh, you know created the script to configure the ip phone attribute okay we'll go to the next exercise so here uh, in this exercise i uh, will you know create uh, services.txt with some services name and then we'll create a script to start those stopped services so here we will be you know perform these uh, using the if statement So uh, let me open the PowerShell and let me set the location where I have the lab files. should have said dash location we cancel it Okay, so let me clear the screen. So I'm going to create a file named services.txt. So to create it uh, using the PowerShell command, let's use the following command new item services.txt. item type as the file okay so next uh, we'll find print spooler name and uh, we'll add it to this services.txt get dash service print spooler and uh, select object expand property property name 
and pipe that to out file services dot txt and append okay next we will find a windows time name and add it to the same services dot txt so here let's change the service name windows time and uh, append to the services.txt file okay next we'll create a script with the start services.ps1 in the same location okay let me create a ps1 script Start. Services. Dot. PS. One. Okay. Let me edit the ISC. Okay. Let me copy the script from this notepad so what this uh, script does is uh, using the services we are uh, you know getting all the content from the services.txt and uh, next using for each it will uh, you know take each services and check whether the services is running if it is not running then it will start the service okay let me run the script okay and we are printing it uh, if the service already running then it will just uh, print the service already running okay so we'll uh, see the next one creating a random password this exercise will create a script that would generate the random password so let me switch back to the powershell let me clear the screen so I'm going to create a file named create password create passwords going to be the ps1 extension and let's open it in the editor and I'm going to use the following commands into that okay so here using the password length variable I'm setting up the length which is 8 and then I'll using the for loop and uh, I'm specifying the password length which has to be less than or equal to uh, 8 and it will you know, mention the action I++ so here we are also mentioning the uh, you know minimum has to be 65 character and the maximum it would be 90 and uh, we are creating a letter which character and adding the number as well and uh, so we are creating uh, 
you know the another variable and adding the letter to that and once this is uh, generated it will print to the screen the password so let me run the script okay so for example it generated this password okay so that's it in this exercise let's click next for the next exercise so here we'll see how to create users based on the csv file in this exercise uh, we will be creating the ad users using the csv file in which uh, we have the data for the user list so let me create a script name called create users dot ps1 extension and i'm going to open it in the partial isc and i'm going to put this content okay so here i have a users dot csv file okay i'm uh, you know setting up a variable to import that uh, csv file so next up uh, using the for each we are taking uh, each uh, item from the csv file and then we are setting up some of the variable that uh, we are using it in the while creating the new ad user so uh, for example uh, we are setting up the path where it has to be created and the ou and the upn format and the display name it has to be first name and the last name and uh, we are just uh, you know uh, uh, using all those variable in this new age user command so let me run this command okay so there were uh, you know four users in the uh, csv file so it says creating um, made line so these were the users and uh, it has created in the following OU so using this method um, you know we have created the users that are from the uh, CSV file We have seen all the exercise from the module which is a basic scripting so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you